Wow. This game really is coming to an end. What's up guys, XEdge here, and I had no idea I was going to be making this video until I had a couple of you guys message me about this whole thing that was going on. I mean, I haven't played Tech Revolution in quite a while, but you guys know how I'm very keen on uploading this stuff, you know, it's all good. So yeah, just check this out today, and I'm just going to go for it now, so apparently... Bandai Namco Entertainment blah 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 would like to inform its fans that service and content support for Tech Revolution on the PlayStation 3 will begin to sunset as of January 19, 2017. Well currently at the moment, for people who I know, you can't download the game as of now, so it kind of feels like this has is, is taken effect already. Uh, anyway, on January 19, 2017, Tech Revolution and all related downloadable content will be delisted from the PlayStation Store as we begin to see service for the game. We will keep the online servers running for fans who download Tech Revolution prior to January 19, uh, 2017 to continue to enjoy the game until March 20th, 2017, at which point all service for the game will end. Bandai Namco Entertainment is committed to delivering the best gaming and entertainment experience to our fans around the globe. We would like to thank our fans for their continued support for our games and services. Right, okay, so first of all, my thoughts, yeah, I'm actually kind of sad about it because I, I know it's, it's Tech Revolution and stuff, for most people it's like, what the hell are you talking about, it's just Tech Revolution, it's a game that, you know, just takes your money and all that sort of crap, but just, just hear me out guys. First of all, when I did start off my channel in January 2014, it was actually a Tech Revolution video that I started off with in the first place. Everything just sort of snowballed from there. This was the game that first made me feel a little bit confident about just uploading stuff on YouTube in general to be honest. So my first video was from this game, I can't remember what the title was called, I think it was the No Power Challenge. So even then you can tell that it was going to happen with the whole Zero Sash Challenge thing and look how far that's come today. I mean. I was so happy about how that shaped up. As for the game ending, you know, all good things must come to an end. Whether it sort of stops or not, it's going to be the same with Tag. Uh, Tag 2, people are eventually going to stop playing that. Like people, I know some people still play that and 6 and stuff like that. But people are just going to move on to the next best thing. But when I first looked at the date, you know, March 20, 2017, that sort of feels like an indicator of probably around the time that Tekken 7 would drop. I mean, it does say early 2017, so, you know, hopefully it won't be that long. We'll see, fingers crossed. It feels like we've been waiting for this game forever now, Tekken 7, so, you know, it would be nice if we at least have a date for it like we do with the ending of Tech Revolution. Another thing that probably comes to mind right now is Eliza really just going to be this character that you had to grind so much to get and nobody, well the people who really wanted her or more like hacked to get her. I, I grinded out all those blood seals and I got her fair and square, other people just you know got some hacks and stuff like that, it, it doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is it's not everyone that really got to play with Eliza. And at first when they introduced this character, people assumed, oh, this is what they're going to use for Tekken Cross Street Fire, to know how characters are going to use projectiles and stuff like that. And I think she's just a really cool character in general. Like, when she was first announced, I was like, I'm going to get that character, I'm going to get that character. Got her in like, less than a day, and she's just been so fun to play. And it kind of sucks because it's not everyone who has this game that has actually got her. So. When you sort of think of it like that, then the 20th of March next year is the limit that you guys have if you want to still play Verliza or I'm not encouraging people to do this but just, I don't know, get someone to hack it for you, I don't know. Just don't play me online with like max stats and all that crap. But the point is, not a lot of people have played with Eliza and it kind of sucks for those who haven't. And it would be nice if she at least made it into Tekken 7. I know she doesn't have that much of a backstory, but they can think of, you know, something, you know. I mean, look how they've been able to put so many 
um, new characters into the game and I'm sure they can just do the same for you know Eliza she does have a bit of a backstory add her in it give us give us some more moves rage art rage attack all that sort of stuff they, they can do this they can do this because otherwise that would just be a complete waste and, and that kind of sucks just thinking about it now it's like that's all I want to do now on this game just play Eliza because you don't know how long it's gonna last for so that's another thing in my mind and just in general guys you know I'm, I'm really gonna miss playing this game because it kind of feels as though I've built a really strong fan base around this game I don't know if it would have been the same with tag tag sort of feels like the game where that's where you go to you know prove yourself and get wrecked or wreck people online that sort of thing and there was just a lot of stuff that goes on in that game that was it was just a bit too much for me to be honest I mean I got what I wanted from that game I reached what yaks or something I'm, I'm happy with that whatever point that I needed to make I made it so I don't feel as if I need to do any more for that game and at that time before revolution dropped this is when I was beginning to get like really sick of um, tag and just Tekken in general just the frustration the competition just everything about it I mean I love Tekken but just the online experience in general can be very frustrating depending on how far you want to go with the game and stuff like that. So when Tekken Revolution was announced, it was like, okay, it's a new Tekken, let's see what this one's like. And I must be honest, I did put it off for quite a bit. I, I wasn't interested in the game. It was only until a friend of mine told me, oh dude, do you know how easy it is to climb up the ranks in this game? Just give it a go, blah, blah, blah. So I got into it and it just became really addictive. And the thing about it in general, I mean, let's get this out of the way first. Despite the fact that, you know, it, it can be very unfair to, um, People, you know that Bandai Namco don't really give a damn about this game where hackers are just running on the loose and nothing has been done about them at all but what I'm trying to say about this is there's been a lot of crap with the whole invincible moves and like 200 power and stuff like that but putting that aside the game is just fun I had so much crap on this game but I enjoy it you know, I could get frustrated for like maybe 10 minutes and then I'll be back on this game. I don't know how much money I've spent on this game, but it's a bit too much to to even say. But the point is, I really enjoyed this game. I still do now, whenever I sort of get the chance to play, because I've been working like crazy. And obviously it's not just Tekken I play, I play other fighting games. I play JRPGs and Overwatch and just crap loads of other games. It's not just Tekken that my life revolves around. But for at least the fun factor, this is definitely the game for me. I actually didn't think I was going to ramble on for this long. I really don't know what to say at this point. But apart from that, it kind of feels as though this is the game where I was introduced to a majority of you guys. You know, the ones who have been following me and keeping up and just with all the video uploads I've been doing. And you guys have been really supportive about that. So I have nothing else to say but just say thank you so much guys for all the support and stuff you've really given me while I'm playing this game. That's the reason why I play. You guys are very supportive. I would have dropped uh, Tekken ages ago. There's, there's even a part of me now that still feels like, you know what, I've done everything I want to do on Tekken and I just don't want to go any further. But after playing Tekken 7 and, you know, really getting that hype for it, I might continue. I don't know, I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Sorry if it sounds like I'm very uninterested. I've been quite sick lately, but I'm pushing through it. But yeah, so until uh, the 20th of March, yeah, I'll definitely upload some more uh, Tech Revolution stuff. In fact, I wasn't going to stop uploading Tech Revolution until... I finished with the Zero Stash Challenge, so I haven't had time to edit all the videos. I finished it, but I haven't finished uh, putting out the videos for it. So once I do that, you know, I'll sort of announce it in the videos, and you know, I'll just say which one's the last episode, and then just bring it to an end. And then hopefully, once Tekken 7 drops, everyone will be, you know, all over Tekken again. Everyone will be happy and all that sort of stuff. So I guess until March 20th, thank you guys very much. I'll definitely put up some more Tech Revolution stuff. Definitely a lot more Eliza gameplay now that I think about it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you so much guys and see you soon. Peace.